Hey guys, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Kelly. Hi, if you're new, today I'm so excited to be sitting down and sharing with you guys another episode of my series, Talkative Tuesday, where I like to share topics that I'm currently going through or topics that you guys have asked for advice on, and I'm so excited to have you guys here. If you're new to my channel, definitely hit that subscribe button down below so you can get notified the next time I upload. I'm currently doing daily videos for the month of September, and it's been so much fun. I would love to have you guys on my channel. We are so close to 21,000 subscribers, which seriously warms my my heart and I'm so stinking grateful for every single one of you guys whether you have just watched a video once or have subscribed or been a long time subscriber and comment whatever it is I'm just so stinking grateful for you so thank you thank you thank you today's episode is talking about what to do when things don't go as planned so I have gotten a request to share this I currently haven't really been struggling with this recently but I have in the past so I wrote down a list of things that I wanted to share with you guys to help with this topic I do have a whole playlist on my channel in case you guys want to check it out I will insert a card if you guys have any topics that you want me to talk about or would like to hear about let me know in the comments down below I do read and respond back to every single comment and I love chit chatting with you guys so we are just gonna get started and I'm just gonna dive right in these are just typically really chit chatty type videos I hope you guys enjoy it Alright you guys, I just finished filming this video and I wanted to point out that mirror over there is where my vanity used to be. So we're sitting on my vanity right now. I'm going to be sharing a video on that tomorrow. I'm so excited because it is so cute and I love it. So definitely stay tuned for that. But we're trying to find a home for it. I don't know where to put it right now and I feel like it just looks really random. So I just wanted to explain that. Okay, enjoy the video. So when things don't go as planned, you have to remember to expect the unexpected. Sometimes things will come out and you had no idea. Like you even think that was an option for something to happen and then typically you have to go back okay you gotta expect the unexpected and for me personally change is really hard on me whether it's planned change or unexpected change and that's something that I'm always kind of working on and just trying to be more flexible and adaptable so I think if you're going through something that, something that gets canceled or a change it can be really hard and I think the biggest thing that I've learned with this is to kind of have backup options or B plans and I know that sounds kind of bad but like if someone's gonna cancel on me I'm like okay I'll just put more time in myself I will film another YouTube video it's like and kind of turn it into a positive and I like to share this a lot on my channel that I like to turn negative situations into positive situations so an example of when things don't go as planned say I was invited to a party and I'm so excited I have my outfit planned I have all of this ready I cancel other plans make this happen and the party gets canceled or my friend that who invited me cancels and so I am no longer invited to the party you know whatever that situation may be you kind of have to be like how can I turn this negative Negative into a positive maybe it's calling up a family member and be like hey can we talk on the phone because I know that helps with me personally or calling up your significant other and say like hey my plans didn't go through do you want to hang out or maybe just having a night to yourself whether it's a reading a book a spa night for me personally I love putting time and energy into my personal business Kelly Prepster with filming videos or kind of like one of my other secret guilty pleasures is cleaning so like when plans get canceled I usually get really excited but I also am such a homebody that I think that might be a little weird to some people but like I'm like oh great I get the laundry done so I don't want to say like always have a B plan but sometimes it's kind of helpful and you will get less disappointed I feel like another thing is to know it might be for the best don't immediately think the worst because different doesn't always mean bad so sometimes I like to think of this and this is kind of like a weird way to think of it but like if I I miss a green light and it turns red I'm like okay maybe that's just watching out so nothing happens to me and I know that sounds really dark but like sometimes you have to go like okay this might be for a positive thing at the end and or say that you didn't get this dream job that you thought you really wanted and you worked really hard and you put all these applications in and went through the whole job interview thing and you don't get it it hurts so bad and you were planning on it you didn't go as planned and the next thing you know the next job interview you go to is even better so you always kind of have to be like, maybe this didn't happen for a reason. I like to look at it that way because it kind of brings me some peace of mind when things don't go as planned. Another thing is to take a minute to process when it does happen and think about it and don't rush into a response. So I'm thinking more so like say you're dating for the first few times and it's the first few dates and say you're on date number five and they cancel or flake. 
don't automatically assume the worst and rush a response and kind of have your feelings hurt because because you want to keep it cool so like you could take a walk talk to someone else talk to a family member do something like i mentioned before whether it's reading take a spa day work on your business get some homework done and then respond because sometimes it might not be a personal thing so for that example it might be like something happened in their family that they have to tend to or something with work came up but i'm not saying that's always the example that's just an example i'm giving another thing that i want to share is your feelings are valid you're allowed to feel disappointed you're allowed to feel sad you're allowed to process it and take a while to move on from it i think a big thing for me personally when these kind of things happen to me i love 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 turning that sadness and disappointment into success so like for example when i lost my instagram i'm like okay i'm gonna build a better instagram and it it took me a long time i'll insert a card of me explaining this better but it took me a long time to get to that point because i had to process it and kind of get in the track of moving on but another thing that i like to do especially when i was dating prior to john and everything is i would turn it into fitness like if something didn't go wrong i'd be like i'm gonna go for a run you know and that's like one of those things that you can turn into a positive because it's moving your body it's bettering yourself when something else does doesn't go right um, another thing that I really love and I still do this every single day is journaling journaling is really a great outlet because sometimes certain things are so personal that you don't want to share with even your closest friend and it's just nice to write it down it can kind of brain dump get it off your mind and sometimes too when you write it down personally for me i've had this happen and i'm like gosh am i really that upset about something this small and i'm not minimizing anything but sometimes writing it down it kind of allows you to process it another thing is to call a friend call a family member i'm so grateful to have that as an option and i find that really helps to be able to kind of like whether it's vent or just kind of get reassurance from someone another tip with this i want to share is try to understand why it happened and learn from it so i'm a huge list gal i like to make pros and cons lists all the time so let's go back to that example of the party got canceled pros and cons pros it could be like okay i get more time to focus on myself cons i don't get to hang out with my best friend you know so that, like make the list and kind of try to outweigh the bad with the good that might not always happen it might not be the case but you could try so like if you say you tried out for the soccer team and didn't make it what are the pros and cons of not making it versus making it you know it just allows you to process it and kind of learn from it like learning what you can do differently and that's touching back on different doesn't always mean bad so with that being said like say you didn't make the soccer team what can you do differently to guarantee that you make it next time or you want to try a different sport maybe this isn't for you it's just like trying to process it in your mind and understand it so again you can't control everything i think that's one of those things you learn more and more with time and just learn to adapt like i mentioned it's hard it's difficult but being flexible and learning to adapt is probably the one thing that i'm constantly working on and i'll tell you the more you do it the stronger you are when these kind of things happen but those are all of my tips and tricks on on what to do when things don't go as planned i know one of you guys have asked for this topic so i hope this helps these are my best tips and tricks on how to go about this i wish i had a more up-to-date experience with this so i could share it with you guys but i love sitting down filming these chit chatty type videos for you i hope you enjoyed it definitely hit that subscribe button and if you guys have any tips on this topic let me know and let's share it with everyone so there's more tips for you guys and i just am so grateful that you're here i hope you have a great day and i'll see you guys back here tomorrow with my next daily video. Bye guys!